my name is Julie. Uh, last week, y'all watched the video that we had posted about uh, getting to yes. And just so for y'all watching this video, the getting to yes is mainly a negotiation book. It's about basically a variety of different ways that people can negotiate. Um, it has to do with soft negotiation, hard negotiation, but the main concept of the book is principal negotiation, which is basically where everybody wins. It's a win-win scenario. Um, it's based on people, interests, options, and criteria. So that's what the book's about. Hey, Julie, <laughs> when we did that video, you had mentioned that you were going to be working on some things. Can you kind of tell us what those things were and how that's working out for you? Yeah, definitely. Um, in that session, mainly what I got out of the book mostly, like for me personally, was I like to do salary negotiation for jobs because I'm young, I'm trying to get into the career field. And so I had taken a negotiation class before, but I learned a lot of new things from this book as well that I could use, like principles and tools. So uh, one of the things that I said that I was going to do moving forward was to focus on interests and not positions. Um, and mainly like asking what is their main concern. So for example, I actually did apply this in real life when I was um, interviewing for my current job, I did ask them at the end of the interview, like what's your main concern like about my resume? What are you worried about? To see like how we could, I could alleviate that and us be on the same page. So I did do that and it worked out very well. <laughs> I got the job. And then also um, I did use the uh, back and forth negotiation part so you know whenever you're applying for a job you should always make sure like um, to make sure you're on the same page for like your criteria so I made sure I did my research and whenever I negotiated on the salary option I told him for this job position X is the range um, tell me what your range is and I told him exactly what I wanted and they took it back and they accepted it, so it was really easy. <laughs> it worked out! <laughs> hey Joseph, you remember us talking about getting the yes, the book? Yeah. You had mentioned that you were going to work on some stuff after that book. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how that's going? Yes, I said I was going to work on preparing beforehand when I negotiate and also putting myself in the other person's shoes, and that's two parts. And I, I struggle with one part, which is putting myself in the other person's shoes when I'm negotiating. Sometimes I get caught up in, I think, my own ego. But I'm very good at preparing beforehand. So a few examples of when I've had to negotiate. I get a speeding ticket like once a year. So this year's speeding ticket, I was able to negotiate that down by just talking to the judge, kind of thinking he's just doing his job. He's not really my enemy. He just wants to get this over with probably. It's not a big deal to him. So, and I prepared beforehand, kind of came up with like what time sunset was, because I got a ticket for parking at the park after dark, after sunset. Another time that I had to negotiate was when I left my old job, they gave me some debt. They said I owed them some money, so I had to negotiate payment terms for that. And same thing there, I just kind of thought, what does this person want? They just want me to pay my debt, which I legitimately owe them. So if I just treat them like a human being, just say, hey, I'm gonna get paid at this time, can I pay you then? They were real cool, real nice. It was actually a pleasure doing business with them. So yeah, that really spoke to the book. That book really helped me a lot to see that it doesn't have to be like cutthroat, zero sum game, I win, you lose. You can really come to a decision if you're more creative where both sides win. I paid my debt on schedule that worked for me, it wasn't too stressful, and he got the money that I owed him legitimately. So that was the main thing. That was one example of how I used it. Yeah, I was able to do that. Hey, Sean. <laughs> so last week we talked about getting to yes. Uh, and you mentioned that you were going to do a couple things. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the one thing that I was really going to go forward with with getting to yes, great book, by the way, was the understanding what the numbers are when negotiating. Uh, I do a lot of contract work, and I think I even mentioned that last week. And one of the things that I always struggle with was with some of the contracts and stuff that come in for me is where their numbers came from. Sometimes it looks like numbers just came out of nowhere. And I think that's actually what's happening. I think people just kind of throw numbers out there and see what's gonna stick. So I've, I've really learned to push back on asking where numbers come from and really, I found that if I push back and find out where the numbers are and I start reverse engineering it, people start to back off and I'm able to negotiate more favorable terms.
for my company. Mm -hmm.